Hi, this is Heather Roberts, and I'm going to introduce you to Adobe Connect and what this is and how to use it and why this could be a beneficial thing for us as a student mentor student relationship. So, what I have on my screen right now that you can see is my Adobe room. This is what it looks like from my view and how this will work for you. So, at this point, I don't have any participants in the room. If you come up here, there are none in here. I am your host. There are no participants. I can start my webcam, and so that way, if you needed to see me, you could see me, hear me, and we can talk our way through it. This is the chat area, and you would type in here questions or I don't understand, and up here in this corner, this little icon here tells me I have a question, like if we were in a group chat with other students, for example, if we were going over um, PowerPoints or doing anything that we would require a group of us to be in a room together. This here is raise your hand, you agree, disagree, um, speed up, slow down, someone's made a funny laughter applause. This icon here is your webcam. This allows you your microphone and your camera. Um, you can allow or not allow. And this is connect my audio, select my microphones, and mute my speakers, mute the conference audio only. And as you're going through here, and this is an important one down here, exit Adobe. As a student, you're going to be able to exit that room. And right now, I'm going to use my other computer, and I'm going to request entry. So. I've used my Adobe Connect that I've sent to you and I'll say Adobe Connect my name on the end WGU and you're gonna put it into your IP address hit it it's gonna take you straight to the Adobe room it might ask you that you need to add the add-ins which is fine just hit run okay it downloads and I'll reboot back into the room and it'll come up to where it says this meeting is currently in session the host blocked entry for incoming attendees but you can send a request once you send that request this is what I see and it allows me to see what's coming up on your end so on your side of things you're going to see this blank room and it says nothing is being shared and this is where I would come up here to you and ask if I can see I can enable your microphone in case, unless you have that on your computer and you want to enable it so we can enable the microphone. I can enable the video so that you can see start your webcam and I can request a screen share and at this point that's what I'm going to do. And so you're going to get a pop-up that says begins sharing desktop and you can decline it or start it but the idea is to start it. And so what you are going to see is the, the idea anyway, except and I'll say share my screen. Yes. And so I am now looking at your screen. So this is you, you're Walter Poindexter. And we need to go in and look at your degree plan. This is how we could do that together and I can walk you through it. I can ask you to go into Walter Poindexter, which is you, and you're like, all right, here we go. And this is, this is a test student, so this is not a current student. <clears throat> and as you see here, the degree plan has been pulled up. Now, this is not a nursing student, so you're not going to see the nursing classes necessarily in this. <clears throat> but this gives us the opportunity to go in and do these sessions where we're going to go in and look at a course of study. And I can ask you to go and do these things. You're able to do it. I can see what you're doing. So that's really the whole point behind the Adobe Connect. 
and when we do these things together then that's what it's going to look like and I'll point, put some more videos together to go through the course of study and a course of study that is applicable to nursing. I hope this helps and I just wish that people would use it and if this helps in any way then that's fantastic and we've accomplished something. So thank you and I hope you enjoyed the video.